All the names, all of the marks of a great race, but 20 laps worth of action. Well, it's going to start right now. Jake Burton gets a good start going through. Nice start from the ERT car in the middle of the pack as they funnel on towards turn number one. One of the key places to really get a good run here today as they dive on through. It's a nice run from Caruso there to move up into third place, then off of the line, but it's all nice and calm. Dylan Rudd here side by side as they go through in towards turn number two, the southern loop here, and on the outside, or the inside, sorry, there is Adam Briggs trying to get that one going forward. So Briggsy trying everything here to get going. He's the main championship leader right now, but Dylan Rudd in the uh, Premier Racing Team car there on the inside now for the next section, and down on the brakes. Has he got enough? It's too wide, too deep as they go on through. And it's still pretty much nice and tight. Little wiggle from Rudd. On a big lunge from Lee Ellis as well up the inside of Rudd. And there's contact just behind between Corey Shepard and the car of Damien Johnson, I believe it was. So a little bit of action going on there. But nevertheless, what a start it's been. I'm sending you to the outside, and this is going to be a follow-through, potentially, for Kurt Stenberg on the outside. And Willis is going to fight this one every stage of the way. A little bit of a block there on Kurt Stenberg as he's left with no roaming road. But now they're too wide going through. The mid packs where it's all at at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. And they were too wide behind a little bit there with uh, Corey Shepard trying to recover. Then he's got his move finally, but it's absolutely manic. He ended up having some pressure from Robin Kirk as well and Corey Shepard trying to give Kirk a bit of a hurry up as well. So starting to be a bit of a cook in the bottle at the moment. But nevertheless, we'll have to wait and see what happens because this is definitely a spicy battle for this mid-pack. Absolutely. We are just over the halfway stage now. Look at Corey Shepard take the big Uber wide line. Captain oh. Kirk trying to cover it. And Captain Kirk goes for a slide as uh, there goes Robin Kirk. They're just running a little bit wide, and he now drops down to 19th. Just like that, Corey Shepard, well, he was commitment plus, wasn't he? Yeah, he certainly was. He was not waiting around, if that's for sure. He wanted to get the job 
on well on with the job and sent it up the inside so that's another position for Shepard and he'll be on the hunt for Wattis and Stenberg so it'll be interesting to see how quickly he can catch these two ahead and whether he's used those tyres up a little bit too quickly or not Kurt Stenberg has his hands full with Corey Shepard at the moment and he's managed to get on by Jack Wittes as well so something's happened to Wittes to drop down two positions and Shepard now at the front of this train to try and close that gap up towards Corey Preston who's not too far up the road at the moment Listen. here's a replay of what's happened so Wittes actually getting shuffled out a little bit by Stenberg on the way out of the Honda Hairpin and Shepard really taking advantage of that to take two for one. So we get another angle of it. You can see Stenberg launching it up the inside of Wittis at the Hairpin and it's just ever so slight contact on the exit. You can see just getting shuffled out onto the Astro and Dirt. He went into locking wheels ever so slightly but nevertheless Shepard coming out of that on top as we go back to